In this video we're going to look at inequalities. These are the four inequality symbols that you may see encounter a lot in maths. So, first one is this one, and it means greater than. So for instance, you could write 6 is greater than 4. This one means greater than or equal to. So in other words, this number is going to be bigger than or equal to this number. So you could have 6 is bigger than or equal to 5. You could also have 6 is bigger than or equal to 6 even, because it's equal to. Okay. This symbol means less than. So for instance, 2 is less than 4. And this one means less than or equal to. So if it's got the extra little line underneath it, it means that it is either greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So again, you could write 1 is less than or equal to 3. Or you could even write 3 is less than or equal to 3, because you've got the, the, the equal to bit as well. Okay, so here we've got three inequalities. This one says that x is bigger than 0. So that means x can be any number that is bigger than 0. So it could be 2. It could be x could be 2, x could be 5, it could be 1000, it could be 0 0.1, that's bigger than 0, it could be 7.2, it could be 3 quarters, okay? It could be anything at all that is bigger than 0. This inequality says that x is less than 3. So x can be any number that is less than 3. So it could be 2, it could be 1, it could be 0 0.4, it could even be a half. It could be minus 5, minus 5 is less than 3, it could be minus a thousand, it could be minus a million. It's any number at all that is less than 3. This inequality says that x is larger than or equal to 4. So that means it could be 5, it could be 6, it could be a thousand, it could be 700, it could be 8.5, so it could be any number bigger than or equal to 4, it could even be 4. Because it says that it's bigger than or equal to 4, so that means it is 4, it could be 4.1, it could be 4, or any number at all that is larger than 4. Okay, so Anne's age A is greater than 22. Write an inequality to represent this. So, Anne's age is A, and we know that it is going to be greater than 22, so that means that A is going to be greater than 22. Okay, this one we've been told that the area of a lawn has to be 50 metres squared or less. Write an inequality to represent this. So this time I actually hasn't actually given you a letter for what should be uh, what represents the area of the lawn. So it means that we could use any letter we want. Let's just use x. So the area of the lawn x has got to be 50 metres squared or less. So that means it's going to be less than or equal to 50. So sometimes you get inequalities that have two signs, like this. This reads, x is bigger than or equal to 4, but less than or equal to 10. That means that x can be any value between 4 and 10, including 4 and 10. So it could be 4, it could be 4.9, could be 5, could be 6, could be 7.7, .7, uh, all the way up to and including 10. If it said that x was an integer, remember the word integer means whole number. So if it said x was an integer between 4, uh, bigger than or equal to 4, but less than or equal to 10, then your integers would only have, uh, we could be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But if it just says, just says this, then it could be any number at all. So it could even be decimal numbers, fractions, irrationals, whatever. Okay, in between these two values, and including.